We were thrilled at Brickworks to achieve a record result of $285 million in such difficult and trying circumstances. But even more exciting for our shareholders was that we increased our net assets by over $1 billion. The performance of the Property Trust was particularly fulfilling, uh, driven by the change in people's shopping habits with online shopping overtaking traditional shopping because of the impacts of the pandemic. This has led to a drive for greater warehousing and distribution facilities uh, right across the world, not only in Australia. Fortunately, we were right at the centre of this and we saw strong demand for our property assets, increasing them in value, and a record amount of development coming through. Our building products performance also increased significantly with an EBITDA of $97 million. This was driven by the government's, government's stimulus program, which was launched a little over a year ago. The performance would have even been stronger if there hadn't have been shortages of materials and trades during the period. And near the end of the time, we saw intermittent lockdowns in Sydney and Melbourne affecting the performance. And North American operations gave a steady performance on the previous year. They were significantly impacted by COVID, particularly in the area of institutional work, which had been our focus and accounting for up to 60% of our demand. However, there's also been a strong uptake in housing in the United States, which now has swung around and accounts for 60% of our demand today. The value of Brickworks investment in Washington Heights Old Patterson increased during the period in excess of $1 billion and now stands at approximately $3.4 billion. This has been an incredible investment for Brickworks, with returns increasing by 13.7% per annum for over 20 years. The Board of Brickworks was very proud to increase the dividend once again to 61 cents for the full year and 40 cents for the final dividend. This is the 45th year where the dividend has either remained steady or increased. Demand for our industrial property is at extraordinary levels. We currently have in excess of 250,000 square metres under pre-lease, and that includes buildings such as Amazon and Coles. When completed, income from the property trust will increase by over $50 million per annum. Our building products businesses in Australia and the United States start the year with full order books and very good prospects for the coming year. Hopefully, with the pandemic starting to reduce, we'll have an opportunity to fulfil our large order book. Our building products earnings will be supported by our recent acquisition of the Indiana and Illinois Brick Company, plus the completion of our new masonry factory in Sydney, along with many other investments that will build and develop the business over time. Our main investment, Washington Heights Salt Patterson, will have a strong year following the acquisition of Milton. This will increase the scale and liquidity of Washington Heights Salt Patterson, which will also be supported by strong commodity prices in its other areas of operation. Brickworks is committed to safety and is very proud that we only had one lost time injury across all of our Australian operations in the last 12 months. We're committed to rolling out our best practices and policies and systems in the United States going forward. When it comes to sustainability, there's no product more sustainable than a clay brick. And this year we're very pleased to expand our range of carbon neutral products. In conclusion, I'd like to thank our incredible staff for their achievements for the last 12 months while they worked under conditions more difficult than they'd ever experienced in their lives. Because of this phenomenal effort, Brickworks starts the new financial year in better condition than it has ever started a financial year before.